and we're back. Um, yeah, so uh, what I did was I plugged the SD card in and connected it to the network and typed in volumio.local into the browser and it works. First time in my life these auto-generated uh, DNS things work. Normally they just fail. So uh, we're going to select a language. I like English. Uh, we're going to call it uh, Volumio Workshop. Or no, we're going to call it Workshop Volumio. Volumio. And it also generates a nice DNS name for you, a local DNS name. Uh, huh. So, uh, let's stop myself right here and basically just to say that I'm an idiot. I'm an utter pillock. What I should have done is to actually research what I'm telling you guys instead of just winging it while recording. Uh, long story short, I got this completely wrong. It kind of worked, but uh, it was just so flaky. So what you want to do here uh, to get it actually right is to select yes, I do have an I2CS DAC or an I squared S DAC and I have a Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus. Uh, of course, if you're using the AMP2. Uh, the DAC Plus and the AMP2 are similar in some ways. Uh, they, they share the, at least the digital analog converter hardware, so that's why it will work just fine. And um, this is a while since I recorded it, so it might be that uh, Volumi has updated and there's actually native support for the AMP2 as of now. But the correct settings are Yes, I have an I-squared S DAC and it's a Hi-Fiberry DAC Plus or a Hi-Fiberry M2, whatever, depending on your version of Volumio. Uh, so now, uh, please ignore the blittering idiot from the past and hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I would guess that the <laughs> Hi-Fiberry is not a I2C, uh, I2S DAC. So we're going to use, uh, select our, you could just use the audio jack, you don't need to have a nice amplifier module, but we're going to select that one. And then we're going to click next. And then we're going to connect to my Wi-Fi network and uh, type in my password. Connect. Let's see if that works. This seems to be really nice. <laughs> now the wireless has started. Hey! How nice. There we go, next. <sighs> no, we don't need to add any drives. Uh, we're not going to donate before we know. Okay, so uh, this seems to be it. Uh, let's see if we can. Okay, there's a Spotify plugin. That's what we want because uh, even though I, as every bit older geek, has an extensive MP3 collection. I'm not going to bother with that, not in my workshop, I just want music. So we're going to use uh, Spotify for that. Hopefully. Let's see. Uh, it's all installing something. This is really nice. These guys made a great job of this, like it just, everything just works. After messing about with the the Pi Music Box, which, don't get me wrong, is not, it would probably work fine if I had an older Raspberry. But, you know, I flashed that card maybe three times before I got it working, like, without getting it working. And then I just flashed this in pure desperation to get this video out because, and of course to get 
get some uh, nice uh, sound in my shop. So uh, this is really nice, really nice. So uh, yeah, I think we're going to. Ah oh, well, how many things does it need to get? Yes, yeah, so this is really nice. If I now can, can just connect my speakers and get it working, I'm going to be like over the moon. This is going to be amazing. So, yeah. So far it looks really nice. Really impressed with this software. Um, and as I said, I'm not knocking Pi Music Box in any way, shape or form. This was literally Googling uh, Raspberry Pi uh, music player thingy, uh, Spotify support. Yes, nice, nice. And this was the second or third one I found. And this one looked nice. So I thought, okay, let's try this instead of the Pi Music Box. And uh, I think this one also does automatic updates, which Pi Music Box doesn't do yet. So that would be really nice uh, as well, because I, I, you know, I don't want to have to reflash my card, reconfigure anything, and uh, do weird GitHub stuff. I just want it to work. Uh, so. Uh, it would be really nice if this is like it's like the Octopi basically, which I installed over a year, uh, almost a year ago now, and just have been basically pressing update and rebooting it like once. So if this works, it's going to be amazing. But you never know. Might be, might not be. Uh, it really needs a lot of stuff. Okay, they can keep the image very small and tidy if they don't install a lot of random crap. So. Yeah. I'm not even sure if I actually need this plugin. But, but yeah, we'll get back on track when uh, when we have this uh, all, I guess, figured out and uh, so forth. Yeah, so I'll be back in a bit. So for the second fuck up of the day, um, I don't for some reason have the audio for the rest of this video. Uh, just don't have it. Uh, I recorded the audio separately and uh, mm, it's horrible. What can you do? Well, basically after it finally finished installing itself, uh, you are done. You have Spotify support. Uh, all you need to do after that is to uh, log in to the Spotify plugin and enter your Spotify credentials. And uh, after that, you're done. Uh, I had some issues here, so don't look too closely at the video. And I'm just going to basically cut it after this voiceover. But... Uh, once you're connected, have Wi-Fi working, and you've like configured the uh, I squared S settings and uh, what type of DAC you have. Uh, initially, it will all just work out of the box. So don't be an idiot like me. Do it properly, and I'll see you in the final video where we do the mounting and we actually get it working. So. Uh, Thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Cheers and bye.